Hello everyone and welcome to your interactive daily tarot reading. This is for Thursday, April 19th, 2018. This is the last day of Aries, so happy birthday to all you Aries out there. Um, today we are totally going Gaia and um, Indigenous for our advice. This is Native Spirit deck, this is Gaia Oracle deck, and this is the Earth Wisdom deck. So put your question out there to the universe, ask which deck contains the message for you, or if you would like message from each one, put it out to the universe now. As I am going to go ahead and get started with the Native Spirits. So if you are most drawn to Gaia or Earth Wisdom, please go ahead and click the timestamp in the description box below this video. So happy, happy Thursday to you, those of you who picked a native spirits. Let's see what comes through for you guys today. What do the native spirits, the indigenous people of Earth, want to give you advice about. Ooh, gathering your tribe. Nice. This right here is if you've been feeling like there's some people that don't have your best interest and maybe you need to snip them out of your life, here's your confirmation of that, okay? For others of you that have been feeling really lonely and you're just like not feeling like you have some friends, this is saying the time has come to start gathering your tribe, okay? This energy is really about an assessment of who you are and, you know, who is in your life and do they vibe with you, you know, or are they not in your best interest and your highest good? So this is all about contemplation uh, going on inside of you today like who's your friend who's not who do you need to cut out of your life who you know is true blue and it's been there to the end so it looks like a big assessment of everybody in your life or it could be a very specific person okay so let's pull uh, some clarifiers I do have another Native American Oracle deck, um, but it, it's a lot different than this, so it's going to take me some time to learn it, even though the cards almost all have very similar meanings. It's just a very different deck from this one, so I will be bringing that one out eventually as well. Okay, so the card that flew out is the Three of Swords in this position. So yeah, this is really talking about, because um, on this side the pain is really fresh. But on this side it's like we're finally coming into a place of, you know, goodness gracious, why can I not hold that? Coming into a place of deeper contemplation and understanding and you know, it doesn't hurt so much to where that's all we're focused on is the heartache and wanting to ease that for whatever it means to make it go away. Now we're kind of like, you know, in contemplation and we're assessing everything that has happened. So I'm not surprised. Um, yeah. And then next, look at this. This is like where it's just too much. It's like... You know, I I have your back, I carry you, I carry you, I carry you, I'm there, I do, I do, I do. And when it comes time for me, you're not there. You're just not there back. Or, because this is general, somebody could be feeling this way about you, okay? But you would already kind of know this for it to be showing up in your daily advice like this. And then, look at this. Lastly... We have the death card, but we have it in this position, okay? So in this position, here's the, the two people, and, you know, they're looking at death. This is, it's over. On this side, this is death's view. And death is assessing the situation and is recognizing that perhaps in the future, these two can do much better. So with uh, this gathering your tribe... Um, I really feel that some of you, it's all about letting some people go, um, but 
hoping in the future that you guys could do better but it's like we need a break there's a lot of pain here there's just the it's uneven energy um, for others of you, I feel like this is a day where either somebody's trying to come back into your life or you're really, really questioning a very specific person or relationship and like, you know, will we be able to do better this time around, you know, or is it just going to be the same old heartache and heaviness that it's always been? So those of you that were drawn to this, it's like you're really all about um, your relationships today. It could be a very specific relationship or many in general. Um, either somebody's like coming back in or you're trying to decide, you know, oh, is this connection worth keeping? Is, it, is this connection worth, um, you know, if you need to apologize, is it is it worth that? It's really like... We're in heavy contemplation mode, but as a confirmation, this says that even if right now things aren't good, in the future things will be much better, okay? And there's a second chance for this energy, whether it's friend, whether it's lover, whether it's family member, it's just really heavy energy. We're contemplating. Some people have to go, but there's some people where, you know, we will do better with this second chance, okay? So if somebody is really trying to apologize to you today, they are legit, all right? So that's what I got for those of you who were most attractive to the Native Spirit deck. Um, honestly, if you really don't want to forgive somebody, but you love them, love them, it might be worth giving them a second chance, okay? Because this is all about second chances, death in this position, and that's the only major arcana, so it holds the most weight out of the three. It has been a hard, long journey, but sometimes the second chance you do better that second go around than you did the first time, okay? So that's what I have for those of you that were most attracted to the native spirits. I am wishing you a very beautiful and blessed day. Take care. Okay, so those of you who were most drawn to Gaia Oracle, let's see what she has to say to you for today. She has remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. So I'm just going to say, if you only watch this, I would recommend watching Native Spirits because this is already coming out very similar to that message there. Or if you were pulled between one and two, they're almost the same message. And look at that, 2, 1, 21. Anyways, today... Um, you could definitely have some uh, old emotions coming up from deep within you about somebody from the past or just things that have happened in the past in general. I can completely attest that the energy this week has had me weepy, thinking about things, missing people that I don't even want in my life. Like, it's just crazy. But anyways... The only reason why these emotions are coming to the surface is for you to heal them and release them. They're not intense, okay? Um, it's just maybe feeling a little bit weepy, a little bit nostalgic. Um, also, this could be, you know, if somebody's really on your mind today, just out of nowhere, it could be that they're remembering you and thinking about you. So let's pull some clarifiers on that energy. Okay, so we have the Three of Coins in this position. We have the King of Wands, or I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles in this position. And now we have the Hermit in this position. So what I'm feeling here is uh, for those of you who are single, 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 uh, you are so ready for a relationship, okay? It's like... 
I have all my ducks in a row. I've done everything I needed to do. I am in a really good, solid place. I know myself. This is like I'm on point um, physically in the material world, and I'm on point um, emotionally and spiritually. Also with this, um, I'm not surprised because the hermit in this position means many truths from deep in your soul begin to surface and come to light, okay? Um, so some of you, I feel like, have been single for a while and maybe it's because you've been mending a broken heart and now today you're just kind of in a place where you're realizing how you're over that and you're ready. You want a new relationship. You're on point. So this is your confirmation that you are on point. You are ready for that new relationship. It's just there's a little bit more of emotion that you need to release and this is really easy. It's tomorrow you will not feel the tenderness that you feel today day okay but this is your confirmation that yes you have done your spiritual work you have done everything you needed to do you are now a hundred percent ready for a new relationship and I think you recognizing that in your mind it will seep into your subconscious which allows that new relationship to come in okay um for others of you I think this is just a day of, I don't know, you're just remembering your past and people that you were with. Some of you, this isn't even about a, a lover whatsoever. I feel this is more about like a, a father energy and, you know, everything that your father taught you and, you know, gave to you. It's just like you're at a place in your life where all those wisdom is coming up from your own soul. Like you're really appreciating who your father was to you and all the advice that he gave to you and everything and now it's like you're living your life by it. you finally understand it for some of you um others of you you know it's it's really interesting this because this could be um in the workplace okay you could just uh for whatever reason your focus there, uh, there's some sadness though. I don't know if it's about a, an old co worker or if, the, you know, a boss that you really like is no longer there and today we're thinking about it. But no matter what, we come to this hermit in this position, and this is telling you that going forward, no matter what, you cannot live your life. Um, if you're not coming from a spiritual place, okay? You are somebody who really has to um, experience physically, but equally you need to be experiencing spiritually, okay? Or you're not fulfilled, you're not satisfied. This, going forward, you are really um, shifting into a much wiser version of yourself. This is all about wisdom today and like a shift coming for you and the fact that, you know, any sadness, it's just, it's, it's such little energy. I don't know how to explain this. Like, and it's for you to release it. So don't fight it. If you need to cry and all that, let it happen because it's a complete release to free you up to move forward into something much better. So what's ahead is better than where you've been. Okay. So those are the messages that I got for you about, um, if you were most attracted to the Gaia Oracle, I'm wishing you a very beautiful and blessed day. Take care. All right, so those of you who were most attracted to Earth Wisdom, let's see what comes through for your advice for today. Okay. So what wanted to come out is card 22, and I love it because Remembrance 21, and now we have um, Relief, which is card 22, and I have to say, whether you were attracted to the first, second, or third deck, I feel like they're all kind of saying the same message today, and it's about releasing the past, um, whether it's friends, family, lovers, situations, you know, all that heavy energy that, you know, makes us insecure, makes us sad. It's like 
whether you realize it or not, you've done way more work to release it. And today is finally like a day where I feel you are feeling the relief come in. So whatever has been plaguing you, it's like today the relief is coming into your life. Or you're seeing the way forward finally. You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It's just today is a much better day than you have been experiencing. Okay? So let's pull some clarifiers on that. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords in this position. We have the moon in this position. And look at this. Yay! We have the Six of Wands in this position. Um, yeah, so finally some relief from these more intense emotions for those of you that have been um, having a lot of uh, emotions that were a bit out of control. Um, it's like we're finally getting some relief from that because with this Queen of Swords here, she is somebody who is very honest to herself and to others, okay? And this um, crystalline structure behind her throne is talking about how the life she has lived has brought her into so much wisdom. This, these crystals contain every single moment of her life. And those who have been there for her, she will never forget that. And she will return that favor. But those who have betrayed her, she will never forgive that. She will never forget that. And some of you have been really, really struggling um, with that energy inside of you of, you know, somebody who just really jacked you over, who lied to you. Um, and now, finally, it's like you've done the work, whether you realize it or not. And today, the energy about today is now breaking up the clouds. The eclipse is over. The sun is coming out because we have ultimate victory over here. So today, those of you who are drawn to this, today is about victory for you. As a confirmation, yes, it's a perfect day <clears throat> to act, to move forward, as long as your emotional self is completely in balance, okay? If we're not 100% there, it might not be the best time to act, to move forward. But if your emotions are on check, it's a great day to move forward. This is a confirmation of yes to me, uh, especially with the Six of Wands. So whatever's going on for you guys, those of you that were drawn to number three, this is a day of victory, of relief, of happiness. You know, it's just weight has been lifted off of you. So that is just absolutely fantastic. So I am wishing you a very beautiful and blessed day. Take care of yourself.